Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Trust Wallet app. So this is going to be a setup tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do here is you need to install the Trust Wallet app into your mobile device. In this case, once you've installed it, we are now ready to set it up. So in this case, let's go ahead and open up Trust Wallet here. And when you actually first open up Trust Wallet here, it's going to give you this UI here, which in this case is going to welcome you and uh, we want to get started. So let's go ahead and click on the Get Started button there. Now from here, you should be able to see a section, which in this case, you'll have the option to either add an existing wallet or create a new wallet for your device. Now in this case, we want to create a new wallet. So let's go, let's go ahead and click on the Create New Wallet here. And from here, you have two options. So the first option here, option here is going to be the circuit phrase option and the Swift uh, version, which in this case, if you choose the Swift version here, so in this case, security, so you create and recover wallet with a face ID or fingerprint. So this is done automatically with your device passkey. Now, in this case, if you want to use this one, which in this case, you'll, you'll be using your face ID or fingerprint to create your account, you could go ahead and do that. But in this case, we'll be going with the tradi traditional one here, which is going to be the usage of secret phrase. Now, you might, you might be wondering, what is a secret, a secret phrase, here, phrase here? Now, a secret phrase is going to be a phrase that is going to be uh, your key into accessing your wallet. So for example, you've lost access into your wallet or for example, you've uninstalled Trust Wallet accidentally or for example, you just lost your phone. So there is still a way for you to still access your wallet here via the circuit phrase that you currently have. So I'll be showing you later on on how to recover that. But first, let's go and create ours via secret phrase here by clicking on create. Now, in this case, it's going to say back up your secret phrase. It's really important that you have it backed up. So if you want to back this up on Google Drive or back this up manually, you could go ahead and do that. But for now, let's go and click on back up manually. And from here, it's going to say the secret phrase is the master key to your wallet, like what I actually just described uh, earlier. Now, in this case, you just need to agree to all of this one. So make sure to under understand all the details here. But for now, let's go and click on continue. Now on the next screen, it's going to give you your circuit phrase, which in this case, you just need to make sure that you actually remember them. In this case, once you've remembered them, as you can see, my screen is actually uh, black right now because it is a protective screen. Let's go and click on continue. And it's going to ask you what is the secret phrase that you saw before. Now you could go ahead and just answer that and we'll be moving on to the next page, which is going to be the main page of Trust Wallet. Now, once you've actually saved your circuit phrase, as well as created a passcode or enabled any biometrics or uh, any ways to actually access your wallet here, you'll be able to see the welcome aboard section here. So let's go and click on start using trust wallet here. And as you can see, immediately there are going to be things that I could or already do here. But let's go ahead and basically describe one of them each. Now, in this case, first things first is going to be the home page here. Now, in the home page, you should be able to see a section where in this case it describes cryptos, NFTs, or even sending crypto, receiving crypto, buying crypto, selling crypto, and as well as your history. Now, if you want to change a few settings into your account, you could go ahead and click on the gear icon at the top left of your screen here. And in this case, you have two options for uh, your mode here. You could go ahead with dark mode, or if you want to view your wallet, you, this is where you will be able to view all your wallets that I have. Now, if you want to add a new wallet, you could go ahead and click on the plus button at the top right of your screen. And from here, like what I said before, if you want to recover, recover your wallet or add this into your device here, what you need to do is just click on add existing wallet and from here just choose the circuit phrase here or if you have like if you use like swift you could go ahead and do that but if you have like for example backed up your circuit phrase in google drive you could actually do that as well and if you want to view only wallet you could go ahead and do that as well so in this case if you choose circuit phrase here it's going to ask you to select a network so in this case, if you choose multi-coin network, you just need to add the wallet name as well as the secret, secret phrase for that specific account. Now, in this case, let's go and go back and go to uh, the other settings that we have here. 
Now in the settings section here as well, we have the price alerts here. So if just in case if you want to enable like, for example, a specific crypto reach a specific price, uh, you'll be able to basically set them or if you want to allow them, this is where you'll be, you'll be able to uh, enable them. Also you have the option to scan QR codes here. So we all know that sometimes while it has like QR codes, uh, you can access your code code scanner here if you want to. So you just need to allow the trust wallet to access your camera. Now in this case, if you have it like in your photos, you just click on the photo icon at the top right here if you want to. Now in this case, uh, there are going to be other settings that you could also access here. So let's just go back to the previous page. Now we also have the section here for Wallet Connect, Preferences, Security, Notifications, Help Center, and Support. So if you have any problems with the app or any or need any assistance with your transfers or whatnot, you could go ahead and contact support if you want to. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and go back here. Now, if you want to send crypto, you could choose the send option here and you just need to search or basically uh, select the network that you want to send with. Now, in this case, you first need to have some form of crypto in your account here before you will be able to send. But if you want to receive, you could just choose receive here and choose the crypto or the uh, cryptocurrency that you want to receive. And you should be able to see the address for your wallet as well as the QR code for it if you want to. Now, if you want to copy the uh, address itself, you could just click on copy or set the amount you want to receive or share this to a user. You could go ahead and do that as well. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and go back. Now, in this case, uh, what are the things we could do here as well? Like, if, for example, if you want to buy crypto, you could just choose buy here and basically choose a crypto you want to buy. So, for example, I want to buy ETH here or Ethereum. We just need to specify how much uh, we want to buy. Like, for example, for 150 US dollars here, it's actually worth around 0 0.050478 ETH. Now, as we all know, uh, cryptocurrency is highly volatile. The prices here would change rapidly. So if you want to buy now, you can just go ahead and straight ahead, ahead buy it by clicking buy with credit card. But if you could, if you want to choose your payment method here, you could go ahead and do that. Like for example, Ramp, Banksa, Transact, MoonPay, Mercurio, I can be paid in Simplex. Now, depending on your region, the options or payment methods might be different for you. So in this case, just choose whatever suits with you. In this case, if you want to proceed, just click on buy with credit card here and it should redirect you to another page. In this case, you just need to complete the information that they'll be requesting. So that includes your car details, how much you want to buy and etc. In this case, let's go ahead and go back into our previous pages here and let's just view the other settings as well. Now, also, if you want to sell, you could choose a sell here. Or if you just want to view your history, you could just click on history in here and you'll be able to see all the transactions you have. So whether you sold or you bought or you received or sent, this is where you'll be able to see it. Now, if you want to swap your cryptocurrency for another one, you could go ahead via the swap section here. So for example, if you want to switch or basically uh, swap your BTC into Ethereum, you just need to indicate the cryptocurrency as well and the amount that you want to basically convert. So for example, I want to convert like swap uh, 0 0.001 of my BTC here and it's going to show you how much it's going to actually uh, give you. Now, in this case, if you don't have enough balance here, it's going to say insufficient BTC balance. But if you do have enough, you should be able to see the conversion array here and the amount that you will be receiving. Now, also, if you want to earn in, uh, within your wallet here, you could basically participate in staking, which in this case is somewhat advanced. And I would suggest you to first do your research here because we're only covering the basics in here. Now we also have the discover here, which in this case uh, enables you to discover more about cryptocurrency, uh, any latest news about it, any promos, or any type of news regarding cryptocurrency, which is something really fun because you'll be in the loop um, in some way because directly news or indirectly news actually affects you, uh, cryptocurrency. So sometimes it directly affects that. For example, if there's going to major news or changes in a, uh, in a currency, it might affect the price itself. It depends on the news itself. So it might go down or go in a uptrend. So yeah, depending on the news itself. So it's really uh, cool that they included this option as well. So yeah, so those are the basics that you need to know here in Trust Wallet to get you started. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.